All right, what you're looking at here is a prototyping box. So you guys, you haters out there, be nice. Um, this is a wise cam that I've designed to be outside. I'm going to show you how I did that. And I also made this so there's no batteries involved. So I'm using low voltage landscape wiring along with um, from a low voltage transformer. I'm going to bring it in my shop and open it up, show you what this box is all about and uh, hopefully help you guys out that I've seen on the forums talk about making the wise cam an outdoor unit. Okay, we're going to take a look inside and I'm going to show you what this is all about. And what we have here, these are rain sensors. And this box has been set up to help notify our landscaping crew when there was snow or freezing moisture. That's what these are for. And they are using the wise uh, switches, the door switches. You're going to see that inside. Here's your wise cam in a, and it's an outdoor um, case. All I did was cut a hole in this box, put the case through the hole, and then I hot glued around the hole. And I'm going to show you the case outside the box, what that looks like. So there's what the case looks like. Um, I just colored it with a Sharpie. It uh, only comes in white. And then there's the back side of it. And notice it has the mounting hole. And then here's the mount that comes with it. And if you put your wise cam in here, it is pretty water resistant. The problem is, without the awning over top, the raindrops hit this, the screen, and it's hard to see. Now, your infrared can shine through this cover and see just fine. Uh, and I'm impressed, impressed with that part of this design. And I'll put a link in the description to this product. So my solution was just a short awning over the top of this case. Okay, so we're going to start at the, in the lid to describe this to you. Um, we've got a relay. It's a 5-volt relay and a 24-volt AC to 5-volt DC inverter. That's what this is here. So the AC from the low voltage lighting transformer, which is something like this, and you can see you don't need very many watts. I mean, you could have like a 40 watt output and still be fine. And the output can be anywhere from 24 or 12 to 24 AC, which you can't see on this inverter, but uh, I'll put a link to this in the description as well. So what I did was I took the 5 volts coming out of this inverter and I figured out the cord going to the wise cam. Uh, I cut that and looked at polarity and then figured out how to hook that plug, which is normally to a USB. Um, you know, their USB power supply they give you from wise and plug that into the camera and the 5 volts is what it needs so it works fine. So that 5 volts um, also powers this temperature sensor. So I could only find this in Celsius, but uh, I put the probe outside the box. That's what this is right here. So it wouldn't get uh, interfered with by any heat generated in the box. And this inverter does put out a good amount of heat and it's waterproof. So I drilled a hole through the box, hot glued the inverter to the top of the box, and then on top of that, I put one of these um, rain sensors. And the reason I did this was I learned that dry, cold snow does not register very well on the moisture scale. I didn't know that until I did this. So if you attempt to do this to detect snow or even frozen moisture, you have to give a little bit of heat underneath your sensor to melt that very dry snow. And once it melts, it becomes moist enough, moist enough to complete this circuit. So let's talk about how I, I use that. So the 5 volts goes to the temperature probe. So when this is below freezing, it sends an output signal. It does that through this relay. That output signal triggers this relay and this relay. Now one of these was used for moisture and the other one when I was prototyping with snow. So you can ignore this one and we'll just look at the moisture. 
So when this relay closes, it sends or it completes the circuit. It closes through the normally open of this relay. It closes the switch for this WiseCam door sensor. Okay, and the bridge for the WiseCam bridge for the WiseSense is inside that case. So being that these two sensors are so close to that, you have great signal, right? So the relay closes. This door switch sees that as a close. And then I put a delay. I said that you'll send an alert when this has been closed for 30 minutes. So I made sure that there was, you know, we got to have good snow to get a signal. And the road temperature is different, right? So you're going to have warmer uh, ground temps than air temps. So that's another reason I waited so long on the on the signal. Well, this Y sensor normally uses a 3-volt coin cell battery. So to make sure I didn't have to mess with that, I purchased these 5-volt to 3.3-volt inverters. So I'm taking the 5-volt DC from that inverter, converting it to 3.3, and I'm using that 3.3 to power this wise door sensor and this wise door sensor. Now, when this relay closes, this sees that as a closed signal. And it sends out a text alert to me and the road crew. Now, the reason I did the, all this was we've been caught off guard in the middle of the night getting snow when it wasn't even the forecast. So from that, of course, because this is online, when, when that sends the signal in the same app, the same WISE app, I have shared the camera with the landscape crew. They can log in, and in front of the camera, I have uh, just a regular thermometer. They can see what the temperature is. They can see the snow on the deck that this was on, and they can see the snow in the grass. And it gives them a pretty good idea what are the weather conditions, you know, up on top of our mountain. One real helpful tip I can tell you is, uh, I don't know what to call these things, but they take the place of wire nuts. And you'll notice I'm using them in here. And what I did was I was able to create like buses with them. And then I could tap in 5 volts 3.3 to all my devices. And it did make wiring from the sensors a heck of a lot easier. Um, so I know it looks crazy, but uh, the main gist of this, and I've tried to get Wise to hear me on it, is if you had an inverter like this one built into a camera system, and then you had an outer shell that was rated for outdoor use, with an awning of course, then... You could just take regular landscape transformer power, landscape wiring, which a lot of people already have, and tie your outdoor wise cam to that and never have to worry about batteries. So if anybody knows wise and you like this idea and you try it, let me know how it goes. And please tell wise to hear me. I'm trying to help them out.